of Quilifer over on the far side and on the near side Celtic shot oh and uh, Arctic call made a right blunder there got away with it all right coming to the first of the ditches now a Quilifer and Celtic shot together from Arctic call Norton's coin and stay on tracks as they race towards the third a Quilifer, the sheepskin nose band from Arctic Call, Norton's Coin over on the far side in the hood. Arctic Call rather on the far side, Norton's Coin on the near side, the grey stay on tracks. So as they come down to the winning post on this first circuit, a Quilifer the leader from Celtic Shot and Arctic Call stay on tracks and Norton's Coin matching strides. Quilifer, winner of nine of his 28 races, now partnered by Richard Dunwoody, Arctic Call, and Celtic Shot behind him. Celtic Shot goes a clear second now, just ahead of Arctic Call, then Norton's Coin and stay on tracks as they run down the backstretch. Coming to the fourth of the 19 fences, well, if a Celtic shot, well, Arctic Call, oh, he nearly went there. I don't know how Jamie Osborne stayed with him that time. He's dropped back to last. A Quilifer from Celtic shot over the fifth. Then Norton's coin, stay on tracks and Arctic Call. Coming to another ditch now. A Quilifer from Celtic shot and Norton's coin, stay on tracks and Arctic Call. Offering 10 to 1 in the ring, Arctic Call as they come to the seventh, the leader anywhere, and that's Aquiliva from Celtic Shot and Norton's Coin and stay on tracks at Arctic Call. Swing left handed now. With Aquiliva for the leader. And Norton's Coin going right up to dispute second with Celtic Shot and stay on tracks with them as well. And then a little gap to Arctic Call. Turning into the home straight once again. With the Quilly for the leader. From Norton's coin and Celtic shot and stay on tracks. Number nine of the 19 fences. Aquilifer from Norton Coin, Norton's Coin and Celtic Shot that stay on tracks and Arctic Call. This is a ditch, the third of them. Aquilifer, Celtic Shot and Norton's Coin, stay on tracks and Arctic Call. Now this will be the final fence next time round. And Aquilifer, the leader. Over number 11 from Norton's Coin, Celtic Shot and Stay on Tracks. Quilifer, Norton's Coin, Stay on, and, and uh, Celtic made a mistake there. Celtic Shot made a mistake at that one. He's in fourth now as Aquilifer leads past the winning post with another complete circuit by two from Norton's Coin, by two and a half to three from Stay on Tracks, who's three up on Celtic shot with Arctic call tailed off at the moment. Oh, as they race to the first out in the country, a quilly for the leader with Graham McCourt on the former Gold Cup winner Norton's coin looking over his right shoulder. See that it's Chris, Chris Grant who's chasing him on stay on tracks. Quite a bit, bit of a gap then to Celtic shot as they come to the 12th. Aquilifer lands in the lead from Norton's Coin, going well in second. A gap to stay on tracks who lost ground there. Further gap to Celtic Shot. Coming to number 13, Aquilifer lands in the lead from Norton's Coin, jumping well today. Way back in third, stay on tracks. And Celtic Shot looks as though he may well be pulled up. Coming to the fourth of the ditches now, Aquilifer. Lands in the lead from Norton's coin, getting closer to him all the time. Stay on tracks, and then Celtic shot, who jumped it slowly. 
five from home now. Aquila for the leader from Norton's Coin. Aquila for lands in the lead, but Norton's Coin getting very close to him now. Richard Dunwoody and Graham McCourt, and they're 20 to 30 lengths clear of Stay On Tracks, who's about 20 lengths clear of Celtic Shot. It's a two-horse race, barring accidents now. This Martell Cup chase, four from home, a qualifier from Norton's Coin. Aquilifer and Norton's Coin together there, and Norton's Coin a brilliant jump on the outside of Aquilifer, but Aquilifer going back on the level, turning for home now, and it's Aquilifer with three to jump by about a length now from Norton's Coin. Turning into the home stretch, three left to jump, Aquilifer on the far side, Norton's Coin going strongly still on the near side, Aquilifer, Norton's Coin, and Norton's Coin lands just in the lead there from Aquilifer. It's Norton's Coin. The 1989 Gold Cup winner coming to the final ditch now. Two out with a length advantage over Aquilifa. Norton's coin lands in the lead. Oh, he makes a shocking mistake, but gets away with it. And Aquilifa, once again, has the advantage over on the far side. It's Aquilifa and Richard Dunwoody from Graham McCourt on Norton's coin as they come down now to the final fence. Aquilifa on the far side, Norton's coin on the near side. It's very little between the two. Norton's coin's right back on the bit, and he's got the lead again. Norton's coin lands for a qualifier. He jumps a little bit left-handed, and a qualifier's fighting back at the far side. The qualifier has got to win it as a race to the line. It's a qualifier from Norton's coin, and a qualifier wins the Martell Cup chase from Norton's coin in second. As they race up towards the line, stay on tracks. It's going to be third, and fourth is Celtic Shop. That's the one, two, three, four in the Martell Cup. First, number two, Aquilifer, owned by Mr. Brown Kilpatrick, trained by Martin Pipe, his 170th winner of the season, and written by Richard Dunwoody. 103 for him. Second was number four, Norton's Coin, owned by Mr. Cyril Griffiths, trained by him, and written by Graham McCourt. And third was number five, Stay on Tracks, owned by Mr. Peter Pillar, trained by Arthur Stevenson and written by Chris Grant. Fourth was number one, and a distant fourth, Celtic shot. And what an incredible race. Arctic caller jumped terribly. Celtic shot had uh, gone out of contention. But watch now Norton's coin. He'd gone to the front, and remember, he refused in Ireland only two runs ago. He went there, and he just put right down into the middle of the fence. So clever to stand up, went across to meet Aquilifer. He clearly got the beating of Aquilifer at that point. Now, Graham McCourt just gave him a few strides to gather his momentum, got after him again, and would you believe it, going to the last, Norton's coin has patently got the race once again in his grasp. Not just yet, but you'll see in another few strides, Brad's gone for the stick, Graham McCourt back on the bridle and cruising. But old Norton's coin, he gets to the front, McCourt feels him stopping, he gets after him, watch him pick his stick up, he, he can feel that the horse is coming under him, and he tries to refuse, but his momentum carries him on. He also goes across left-handed and hits into a quillifer, and the two of them come in for a desperate battle now. But certainly the horse who was finishes second was uh, had the ability to win this, but he's just got this quirk these days and what bad luck for Cyril Griffiths that he didn't get it but conversely it's 170 for Martin Pipe and 103 for Richard Dunn Woody well Aquilifa got the spoils but the second horse was most unlucky and there's Graham McCourt now just explaining to uh, Martin Griffiths the son of the trainer but here Peter Scudamore on the uh, Celtic shot and the winner Richard Dunn Woody Aquilifa Quilifer returned 11 to 2. Richard Dunwoody, who of course will be associated with Big Sun, in the big one on Saturday. Already won the national on the West Tip. Enjoying a sparkling season. This is a marvelous spare ride for him, this 11 year old who was the senior runner in the Martell Cup, which carries a penalty value of more than 22,000 pounds. Winner of 10 of his 29 races, the son of that amazing progenitor of jump winners, Deep Run.
Normally, of course, uh, Peter Scudamore is right, but uh, he was associated this afternoon with Celtic shot, which uh, surely influenced uh, the punters. And the official distance is as Aquilifo returns to the famed unsettling enclosure, one and a half lengths and 25 lengths. Tremendously gutsy performance by this winner. Looked uh, sure to be uh, beat by the Gold Cup winner of 1990 Norton's coin at the second last when uh, Norton's made a mistake from which Graham McCourt did marvels ready to recover. And then Norton's didn't look as though he was keen on tackling the last at all. Graham persuaded him to have a cut at it and uh, he jumped it all right, but he didn't get away. Well, he jumped it, but he didn't get away from it very quick. And once again, the initiative was passed to the longtime leader, Aquilifer, and, and this time he wasn't going to give in.